Over. I really played this first hole in the wind. I thought we were going to play the hole that's running down side of it. I turned it in the wind. This hole, par four, doll leg, little right, tree trouble right, tree trouble left. Through the fairway left is water as well, so you really need to hit about the perfect tee shot. You can see down there with them carts is out. That's a pretty good starting line. Try to work it back a little bit. If you do overcut it and just so happen to get on the right side of them trees, playing down one's fairway is not a bad spot neither. But ideally, right down central. Bruh. Yeah, walking up here, we went a little long, but we do have a backstop back here, but it it hit on it and stuck. It didn't really try to come back, leaving us a tricky downhill putt, probably from about 30 feet. We're going to do good just to get this close for a, a two putt and get out of here and on to the next par five. If it falls, it falls. If not, I'm wanting another one of them stress-free pars. Par. On to the next one. There we go. We got a par five. Pretty good length again. Back in the wind once again. Seems like it don't matter which way you turn, you're gonna be back in the wind. Little dog leg left. Not too bad. Just something straight up the middle. Like I said, probably another three shot hole. Got a little group there in the fairway in front of us. Just about like getting back in the cart. Got a pretty good stroke on it. And Sit down. First bad tee shot of the days. All right, so as you can see, we found the trees right. It was not a good tee shot at all. Got a very slim gap. We're gonna try to punch it through to get back out there to the fairway. Same shots that way, but we're gonna try to feed this. Thread the needle. Well, boys, it worked out. <laughs> I'm very surprised that worked out, but we're back out there and play and fed the needle just like we wanted to. I have a long one in. I'm gonna have a long one in for our, for our birdie look, but that's what you get when you play from the trees. Let's see how close we can stick to it. Well, we did come out of trees pretty good. Found ourselves in a left rough. Really good shot from out of there to try to get back in the play and advance it. Probably, probably about 120 yards. We got about 108 left in. Wind pretty much behind us, I'm thinking. It's really swirling right now. Pin all the way back. Back there. Well, we hit a good shot. It spun back probably about eight feet though, so probably look at that another, that another range, probably that. 20, 20 footer for the birdie. I'm well, walking up here. Like I said, we left ourselves probably about another 20 footer, but from where our tee shot was, to even have a look at a birdie, I'm, I'm, I'm ecstatic about it. Up the hill, breaking left or right. Well, maybe left or right, then back to right to the left. It's because you got one shoe on. Yeah, yeah it might be because I got one shoe on. Let's, let's see if we can roll the rock. Gonna leave them short all freaking day. And a stress free par. Par. Par after that tee shot. Yeah. yeah that, that bar was rolling in the heart though. They got that and kept it. 
Looking at 134. Uh, the wind's swirling. I can't. It's in two, then behind you, then off the right, then off the left. We're trying to try to hit something knocked down. Fly it back there. Good shot. Come up a little short and left, but we got a good look at the birdie. I'm up a little short and left on that one, but still got a good look at it. Probably about that same golden range we've had all day, anywhere between 10 to 20 foot. But it's going to be breaking hard left to right, going uphill and back downhill. Uh, hopefully we'll be able to get close. This looks like a putt that'll go in. Not looking too bad. The green's are actually looking really good for the place we're at. We're really coming a long ways. Shout out to Black Creek in Ellisville, Georgia. We're just going to try not to leave this one short. We've left the last, probably the last three buddy birdie putts dead in the heart, just short. Try to give this one a chance. I appreciated the break a little bit too much. Ah! Got him! Should have took my time with that putt too. I guess that's a bogey here on nine. One over three nine. That was a pretty disappointing bogey. I uh, wasn't really thinking, Judge. A little two foot putt come out there and just hit it. And it missed and made the bogey three putt. And that's just, just that's just part of this whole road to stick to the deal. You gotta take every putt serious. And nine times out of ten you make that, but just then you just seen that tenth time. So you gotta take them two putters. Two putters more serious and y'all won't see that again out of me. I'll take well, I'll take my time on it. But actually right here is a we're on hole number ten. Shot one over on the front. Hole number 10 is a dog leg right par 5. Pretty big par 5, but you can reach it in 2 if that second shot's money. But today, the wind, you'll never know which way the next shot might be into. Good play. The ball actually ran through the fairway and catching this, this left side of rough. Not real sure how far we got in. Pins down over that hill down to the bottom. Gonna try to give it a good number and see if we can get on the green. That could be really good. I think you're gonna be alright. That could be really good. We could have an eagle putt here, guys. Well, we actually caught that one a little bit too good. We're just off the back left to a front 10 location. Had just been probably last week. We've been sitting really good, but not last week, it's this week. I'm not sure whose other ball that is back there. It ain't none of ours. I guess somebody shanked one coming from the next hole. Like I said, still live clean in place. Still pretty wet out here. So right here, we have, I'd say roughly 35, 40 foot. There's a big ridge that we got to go up and over. It's going to turn this ball back to the left. I'm going to try to take out some of this ridge just by bumping and running. Try to get on the ground as quick as possible like a putt, but... We're back in the wind, so it's going to hold this ball even more. Try to get ourselves close for the birdie. Get on down there. Uh, just rolled out a little short of it, probably about another two footer like I missed on the last hole for the birdie. And a little bit longer than two foot. Maybe about three foot. Like I said, we're gonna, we're gonna take these putts serious. Cause these are the hardest putts in golf to, to putt at, really, these little knee knockers. Everybody gives them to one another, but you really need to be practicing them. I'm bad about it, like I said in the last hole. I already had far down on my head. But these aren't the putts that go in. These are the putts that miss it. Tower, this is Ghost Rider requesting a flyby. Negative Ghost Rider, the pattern is full. Just like that, little lip, 
That'll be a par here on 10. Lip out. Lip out. If I was 116 playing 108, 11th hole here out here at Black Creek. Pretty severe downhill, and I don't know if y'all can see that wind, but it's it, it's whooping. It looks like it's just straight left to right, not a whole lot of hurt. If anything, a little bit of help. I'm gonna try to stick this close. That was a tough, that was a tough par right there on 10. Just lipped out for the birdie. But like I said, they're, not, they're one of the putts that don't go down. Those are the ones I believe everybody should be working. You just have to say that you're fine. When you're not really fine. You just can't get into it because they would never understand. Unless you pull it in the bunker. Straight as arrow. All that wind. All that wind left to right, and it did not try to move right at all. So we're in the bunker left. Get our flip flops on. We was about pin high. I played it out a little bit left, thinking that wind would push it back right a little bit, but that thing stayed straight as an arrow. So we got a tough little chip coming up. Try to get it close and, and save far. Gonna go a little bump and run, and get it back on the ground as quick as possible. Sit, sit. Not bad, rolled out. About a, about a foot and a half past the pin. As you can see, that wind, that wind's whooping pretty good. With all that wind, this ball actually pushed a little bit to the right. So, I mean, it wouldn't surprise me if, if, if it missed out right, if it tried to go a little right. But with a good pure roll, we'll make par here on 12. All right, hole 12 down here at Black Creek. A little, side, a little on the short side, par four. It's a good chance to get a birdie. Try to get that birdie back, I mean, buggy back I made on nine. Pretty much straight ahead. Fairway camera's a little bit right to the left, so anything up the right-hand side or feedback down left, that is ideal. <laughs> Actually, for the first time, I think we're... We might be straight downwind, not nope, no we're not. This is a little little hurt off the right. That'll play all day right there. Right down central. Like I said, the fairway camera is a little bit right to the left, so it's probably gonna catch the left side of the fairway, but it'll have a good look at the pin. I think the pin's playing back right. Like I said, fairway camera's right to left. We did have to take relief from the drainage ditch. So we did find ourselves in it. But we got about 77 yards to a back right pin location. Gonna, sounds like a, a broken record, but we're still gonna try to see it close and make some birdies. We've only made one. Had a lot of good looks at them, but we're just not really converting at the moment. Need to really, really stick one close because obviously I can't make a putt if it's, like it's inside two foot or inside 15. We really just need to hold it out. That's like old Happy said. This game is pretty easy. I do that all the time, holding out on, on par fours. Oh, see it. Would you look at that? Yeah. Ah. Little long and left there. Good strike. Just. Pulled it just a bit, just a tad. Not, not the greatest approach shot, but it is still matter. Still on the green, still looking at that, that golden zone we've had all day, that 15 to 20, 20 foot range. Maybe we can get another one to fall. Just yanked it just a tad. It actually turned out better than what I thought it was. I thought I actually hit it a little bit long. It did come off pretty crisp, but there's actually no need to even drop a club. I mean, we're actually sitting pretty good. Being high, just left. Actually, no need to be mad what whatsoever. Like I said, people can't really fix the fish mark. This course is looking. If y'all ever played this course before, but I, I don't know. But this course, compared to what it used to be two years ago, has come a long ways. 
these greens used to be black. They still see a little bit of black spots in them, but for the most part, but it's gonna go a little bit right up the hill, left to right. Put a good stroke on it. We can take a lot of the break out. a little bit slower than the rest of them. This is not a hole that you that you want to birdie. I mean, par. This hole you really want to birdie. This is a scoring hole. It's not the next hole. It's a very scoring hole. This is where you should be 200 through two holes, or either 100 through two holes. Hopefully, we'll be able to get a birdie on the next one. Really disappointing par there, but that's golf. Can't always make them.